I will say 95% of the cases we deal with, it comes in through an email of some yeah. kind oh, yeah. to an employee. So uh, we're usually looking at the email side. We're usually looking at the training and awareness side and, and any vulnerable areas within the organization. Cause you know, like I said, it's coming in through an employee. It's usually fairly targeted to, to an individual. Um, yeah. so that's where the focus is going to be for stopping that happening in the future. Because you're you're kind of acting as as almost more of a consultant rather than being part of the company, I assume any recommendations you make in terms of changes to be made that this doesn't happen again are more suggestions than you actually doing the implementation, right? So we yeah, we would make the recommendations to the company and then if they said, Yep, and that sounds good. To- yeah. yeah, we usually we would execute on the implementation oh, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. It's obviously it's their decision whether or not we do it, but most of the time we're that far ingrained in the process already that it's it's us who would be uh, would be helping them with that. 